So hi, Avi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so for those of you who are watching for the first time, this is the Diverse Podcast, usually hosted by Toby, but I'm Deborah, the Recruitment Marketing Specialist at Diverse. And today I'm going to be speaking to Abby from the Science Museum Group. Yeah, so um, I started my new role <clears throat> in late October. So I started off in service desk and I'm doing that until next week and I'll be moving on to cybersecurity, which was where I started my internship in um, the cybersecurity part of the IT um, team. But um, yeah, so the transition from last year till um, now, it's it's been quite smooth as in I've learned so much with the service desk um, and it was really, really vital for me to learn a lot about the networking. Um, I didn't know too much about IT in general. I do do it for um, uni, so I do computer science, but we don't really learn um, too much of like the hardware that comes with like IT or computer mm -hmm. science and things like that. So it was really interesting to see how it actually um, helps within a company, especially with SMG. It's a, it's a museum. And when I first started, I didn't really know what IT a museum would use. Um, I kind of had the idea that museums just have loads of archives and everything is just not digital, but I was wrong. A lot of things are digital. So it was just interesting to see how they incorporate like um, just easy, like an easy way of working with like technology. Yeah, cool. cool, cool. No, that's really interesting. I can imagine. Yeah. When you do think of museums, you think oh do you think archives mm. <laughs> you think ancient but no that's really cool that um they have such a sophist like sophisticated system um so my first question is actually what drew you to the science museum group kind of how did you find yourself even like learning about the role and like that whole route yeah so um i actually found the role on Ten Thousand black interns and it wasn't my first choice um with the internships um I was gonna go with like a more um tech known company but I was quite interested to see what um the science museum would offer me um mm. so I applied and I spoke to um my manager and he kind of just told me he's they're like looking for someone who's just willing to learn, even if they don't have the experience or they have like no knowledge, they still are willing to um, hire someone for the internship um, who's like determined to learn and and be inquisitive. So I was I was really interested in it. So I was like, okay, um, let's see if I could do it. So I had my first interview. Um, it was more of a casual chat, um, get to know each other about my degree and um, things that I would want from the internship. Um, I think maybe a month later, they did get into contact with me for another interview just to see if I was like um, the right fit for the role, since I don't have like a lot of experience in cybersecurity. Um, so they asked me a lot of questions and Honestly, I didn't know the answers to any of them, but um, luckily they saw like a drive in, in me. So um, I um, got it um, after like maybe a month or so. And um, I got to meet the other interns in different sectors. And um, I was the only one who was in the IT sector because this was like the first time they've ever launched an internship uh, program. Um, so it it was quite it was quite good like the, yeah. the application process was really like seem seem seamless seem seamless and um <laughs> it wasn't um stressful in a way um everyone that i spoke to from smg like the hr people like um Alex and my managers, um, they were really, really nice and opening and it made it made it feel not like an interview process, not like an application process. It was kind of like a learning journey on how to do things. So it was really, really comfortable to do and not stressful at all. Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's really great. I'm sure that a lot of our audience will that will be something that they would like want to know about. Like at the end of the day, a lot of um when you're straight out of uni, a lot of people, but people do so many applications, a lot of applications get submitted. And 
I know like when I was in uni and I'm, when I was like finishing and like graduating and looking for like, my next step I'm sure it was similar for you like you do so many applications and you also you might end up doing so many interviews mm. that you do want to like you do like I think it is a great first sign when you you're on that process and even that is a smooth journey and even that mm. is like um you can see that there's like like you said it was like a two-way conversation and like mm. you can see that there's probably going to be like a good you know a good rapport quickly and I think yeah. that's like something that you you should definitely value I think for anyone watching I think or listening I think it's important to kind of like see the signs early on um and that's one of the questions I'm gonna kind of ask you like um a bit later on <clears throat> about like the signs mm. and what, kind of like, what to look out for but I've actually got um a quick fire round quick uh that I would some some so some questions that you don't, yeah. don't think about too much I just want you to give like your initial like some just some some quick answers like you know so mm. first question is what is your favorite thing about the science museum group the people definitely the people everyone is so nice I love that and uh what is the thing you found most challenging when you first started um I think it's I think it's just understanding how a museum's like business structure works it's it's not like a traditional business it's kind of run it's it's kind of run with like a lot of volunteers and obviously it's it's kind of seen as a charity trying to keep um people happy and things like that and because it's not money driven mm -hmm. it's even nicer to work for a company who kind of pride in making like their visitors experience like really really good and they just really like to make sure everyone's having a good time even if it's like a young young child or like an older adult everyone looks happy when they're at the museum because I've been to um two of the museums and I mean everyone just looks happy and everyone's just helping each other out so I think that's like yeah that's what I had to like learn how this how this business differs to everyone else they're not like really profit driven so yeah, it was a nice yeah. experience that's great no, that is fantastic so we'll definitely touch back on that next question um oh sorry you've lost me with just all that amazing <laughs> sorry <stuff. laughs> sorry no all right that's it yeah next question um how did you find the the initial actually we've already spoke we've actually already touched on that so I'll skip that question you've literally just spoken about that okay next question uh what is one thing you would tell yourself now that you've applied now that you're you've, you've got the job at SMG what is something you would tell like advice you'd give to yourself prior to having applied so if you could like kind of like summarize it like, keep it kind of short and sweet um I think I'd say don't stress because I was really mm -hmm. really stressing to see if I would get in or I was really reluctant to um kind of reach out even though I've had my interviews but um they're very like welcoming and <clears throat> sorry um they want you to ask questions they want you to like still be in contact with them um between like the interview like the application process so don't be hesitant to like if you have a question just go for it and ask and if you're not unclear something just ask and they'll always like get back to you yeah okay that's so great um and my last question is well not overall but just like <laughs> that quick fire around question is uh if there is oh actually let's save that because I think that will be a valuable thing to conclude on um okay let's keep it fun and light <laughs> what is your favorite part of your role like your like of your day-to-day -day job like your favorite part of your role um I think it's uh, when I have the days that I'm in office, it's just going into work. Um, <clears throat> sorry, everyone's just nice and chill. They're always there to help you. So it's like going into an environment that you just know you're not alone. So I don't, I don't fear to go to work. I don't, um, I don't like second guess to go to work. I just, I, just, I really want yeah. to go. So yeah. I think that's like really important. Yes, agreed, agreed. I think that is amazing. I definitely. I think we've been we've all been there um when we might have like had a job that we just like kind of like dreaded going into and yeah. I definitely think it's like one of the most like valuable things ever when you 
not only enjoy your job but like enjoy the people you work with and enjoy like the atmosphere you're working in and like you want to be there it's definitely something um that we would definitely push our like you know audience and like our diverse community members to think about when applying to roles like definitely make sure that you are that we were speaking about earlier about like when you're on that like interview like application process like when you're getting to know the the employer you definitely want to think about like will you enjoy working with these people like will you mm. you know like enjoy going in and like what type of space yeah. are you working in and like will it like be conducive to like you know like your well-being in a way because I think that's a big part of what something I'm a big advocate for like just the fact that like where you work and how you work and people you work with it all you know it all like these are like people you might end up seeing a bit like in a week like you might see these people more than your family so it's really important really really important to like enjoy that so I'm really glad that you've got that going for you over that SMG. Thank you. So um, I actually wanted to top and touch on some more specific things. Mm-hmm. Just bear it with me. Uh, where are we? Yes. So. Yep. Yeah, so if you could just like touch on the different placement opportunities. So. You started off with SMG on the internship, if I'm correct. Yeah. And um, I'm sure like when you started, you must have met other people maybe on like similar, you know, similar pathways or people um, doing like maybe entry level roles. And just if you could just like let us know, like what have you seen at SMG when it comes to the variety of different opportunities that are there? I think for someone who might not really know what type of roles goes on at um, a science museum or at a museum in general or um just someone who might want to get into that field that they don't really know like what specifically they should like search for or or look into or apply to so yeah like what what did you see that was like oh wow these there's there, there, there are these roles like if there's any like you would kind of like shine a light on yeah I think there's quite a lot of um like yeah there's a lot of variety in like the different sectors of the museum so for example with my sector like the IT um they do offer apprenticeships for like um cyber security um I'm not really sure about the other um roles in IT and how they would work but um I know they have offered apprenticeships and would want to offer apprenticeships in the future um but for myself I obviously went through the 10,000 black interns program and I secured I think it's an eight week internship and afterwards they um, set aside a budget for something called early career development so um, I think it was they had the budget for IT um, learning and development and also curating um, just to get some of the interns so I think they also opened it externally but to get some of the interns to apply for like the um, early career development. So for me, I went through that and I landed the role of IT administrator, which is just basically uh, an entry level of just different sectors of IT. So like I said, I did service desk and now I'm moving to cybersecurity. Um, I'm not really sure about what exactly the others are doing in terms of like the interns, um I know that one of them is in learning and development and they're really enjoying it and I know one of them is in curate, uh, curating um like items for the museum um I also know that the museum do offer like training programs um at entry levels for like the curating part but I'm not too sure about the other like the other um sectors but um they have given like a lot of opportunities and yeah it's just really nice to see that we could just we could have just stayed we could we could have just stayed in like our roles with the same people it was quite seat like a seeming seamless um transition and just from our like intern role to like our actual permanent role so yeah, yeah. I love that because that's actually something we would I'm um, gonna come to next so like just that kind of um, career development and like pathway into more permanent roles and stuff. I'm glad to hear that from what you've experienced that that is um, quite like a seamless and smooth transition. Um, so with with that, like, did you find that there was anything specific that might have helped you to shine that you may have done or did 
um, in your application or just in in your role whilst yeah. on your internship that kind of like helped you to shine and helped you to kind of ensure that you were able to secure that permanent role? Um, I honestly think it was my work ethic um, with the internship. We obviously we had a, a project to do and we had to kind of um, showcase what we did to our managers and like other group of people. Um, and the work that I had to do, I um, took it beyond what they asked me to do. I did a lot of research. Um, I also asked a lot of questions with um, to like different sectors of the business and how um, what on how like the research that I found how would it impact this part of the biz business or how would it um, negatively impact this part of the business. So I did go beyond because I wanted to show that I really val I really valued first of all them having me um someone who didn't have as much experience in the role and second of all I think it was because I started to like it a lot I started to get interested in it and I think my managers did see that I was always asking questions even if I didn't understand anything they still helped me with it so I think my work ethic and like my willingness to always ask questions I think that's a really big thing for people um thinking if they ask questions they're not seen as um smart enough or intelligent enough but it's really not like that it's just you showing you you showing them that you're proactive and you're actually listening and you're taking things on board I think that's a really big thing for like any employer um to want to see from like an employee or like someone they want to employ yes agreed 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 yes definitely make sure you're taking note guys because um, I think that is some big facts right there. Um, a lot of the time we get lost in the idea that like, you know, asking so many questions is going to make us seem like we're like clueless. But no, mm. like you said, it's literally a big part of um, showing that you're keen, showing that you're dedicated, showing that you want to learn. And I, I think that's amazing. And yeah, well done you for landing that um, permanent role because from Thank you. what I see, you're probably like just absolutely killing it so honestly like well done honestly that's really 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 good thank you so much and, um, and that's fine and yeah so I want to just move on to talking about your um like what you found that like a lot like your values and what has aligned with and like where has your where have your values aligned with SMG values um because I do I do feel like that is a and like mission and stuff like that is a big part of a lot of the time why we stay you know I think yeah it's easy to like be in a job and just be like yeah but yeah so where have you found that like alignment in like values um I think the biggest thing is um SMG don't work for like profit they're not like a profit like profiting business and I've always wanted to work for a company that cares about like their consumers and things like that I like I've always wanted to be part of something that's actually helpful um so working for the museum was I it might have been like a dream come true because it's like I get to see what it's like um working for a business like that I get to see the good that we do for people um second of all I think it's um one of the SMG values is um, open for all. So trying to include different cultures, trying to include um, different like ethnic minorities and things like that. And especially with the 10,000 black interns, um, uh, Alex Brown, who was our like, um, um, how, how can I, she works in HR and she was like with us quite a lot. She was really, really happy that the museum was kind of um, seeing that they had an opportunity to let people um shine who don't usually who are not like usually in the spotlight yeah. and from then I was like this is a really good company because they kind of care for everyone they're open for all so yeah. it was it, yeah I think that was um a great thing um uh, that the science museum kind of incorporated yeah no, that's amazing that's amazing I'm glad to hear that it's such a like inclusive and diverse 
place, which, <laughs> which, um, which is definitely a reason why like we are so happy to be working with SMG. Um, definitely, I think I can speak on behalf of all of us over here at Diverse um, when we say that like it's clear to see the work that's being done in like increasing, you know, like science capital and just, um, you know, and just like passing on, not only like passing down all this like amazing information, um, but like you said, being open for all, I think is really, really, really amazing. We've seen it just like through working with you guys, like the the way, the way there's definitely a dedication to inclusivity. And I think that's just amazing. I think that's yeah. amazing, amazing. And I can imagine for you, it's just amazing to be a part of that. So I'm glad that in that way, you guys, and it seems like in all the other ways that matter, you guys are aligning on value. And that is really, really important. Um, so anyone listening, that's also something to think about, just ensuring that you are work like you know applying to roles and you know getting to know companies for their values as well yeah. as you know just like I don't know um what like what you like career progression or like what you can expect maybe in terms of salary I think I think these are things that um of course matter but your value and your values and being able to align on that with like the place you work is so, so important so again mm-hmm. love that for you and um, so we're kind of like come, drawing to a close now. Uh, one of the things I, as we draw to a close, one of the things I would love for you to, just to like see where your head's at is, um, where, what do you think about like the future of the museum industry, particularly SMG, like where is, where is it going that you're excited about? Um, or is there like anything that you've just seen, specifically in your field, like you're in cyber security, I believe. So, um, I'm sure with like all of the technological advancements, maybe there might be some 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 things coming up for the future of your industry that might that you just might find interesting or you might be excited about. Uh, could you share any of that with us? Um, I think in terms of like the IT part of the museum, I think um, it's it's a little bit difficult because um, there's a lot of um, older people who do work at the museum and it's you know normally difficult for older people to kind of um keep up with like the changes with like work and like the things that they use um so I know that we're trying to make things as easy as possible when we try and change a system um but we're always you know um kind of always trying to get the new technology, always trying to stay up to date so we can keep like our information safe. Um, In terms of like the museum, what I'm excited about, I think it's really difficult because they always change like every three to four, five, six months with like expeditions and like um, things that they've put in the museum. I remember always going to the museum um, in um, York and seeing different things I've never seen before even though I've been there in the same place yeah. the same time and I just I just just like seeing the change um yeah. so it's never boring um it's never boring at the museum you always like have work to do but in the sense of it's fun work and you actually see what your work what you're producing and how it's like helping like your team and like the outer um like that the external part of the museum thing so it's like it's yeah it's just changing so I'm not really sure what exactly what I'm excited about but it's just always changing it's an exciting place in general so I love that I actually love the answer because it sounds like it's somewhere that's so dynamic that yeah you you know you're just on the go excited you know what's, Mm -hmm. what's happening tomorrow um what's happening next week so I think that's really really cool um yeah thank you so much I've got honestly this is a great 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 catch up just about everything going on over the, on your side um again we just want to commend you from our side for thank just you. like securing this permanent role but then also just for like your constant like development um just keep it up um so lastly if you could just close for us with your top three tips for crafting a standout application to SMG if you could like summarize like with everything we've just learned like your top three tips for like just for like uh you know shining shining through the application process um I think the biggest one is just be yourself um I know 
like a lot of us kind of I'm not gonna say lie but not as truthful on our CV as we like um would want I think being yourself is more valuable um than trying to kind of tick every single box that they want you to do like I think yeah. being yourself and um I mean everyone in HR will be able to see like your potential and see if you're um a great candidate for them I think that's the first thing just being yourself um second is don't stress because <laughs> I think stressing makes everything worse you're especially when you come to the interviews um you feel like you're over prepared and um it just doesn't really help I think taking a step back and just um, obviously revising the questions that you want but just let it come naturally I think that's really important um and I think third of all um I think just always trying to keep in contact with um like the hiring manager um making sure that you're like actively um trying to understand more about the business um especially uh, your role too I think that's really important that shows um you're driven to actually kind of excel in the role and you actually want to that you're actually intrigued in the role and you're not just doing it because it will look good on your CV but you actually do want to do it I think that's really really important yes it is definitely agreed 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 so yeah yeah guys that was uh Abby with some great advice and just her journey uh around working at SMG one of our favorite partners and yeah honestly thank you so much uh I think for me even that was really really helpful because um I've definitely been to the Science Museum over here in London mm. and always enjoyed it but I've never really like had any idea of what it's like on the back end so that was actually quite mm. insightful thank you so much um yeah is there anything you want to know from me or anything you want to plug from SMG um thank you for having me <laughs> thank you for having me and um if you do want to work at a museum and you're not too sure just go for it I think that's yeah. like for everybody yes thank you guys so yeah make sure you take that in if you want to work at a museum or you want to try something new just go for it yeah uh, just like look at Abby you know she started as an intern and now she is working full-time in a cyber security role and it sounds like you're loving it so honestly that's great thank you so much yes okay great so I will let you go now um enjoy bye guys <laughs>